Welcome to Love, Lust and the Devil. This is your host Piper Blush, broadcasting live on YouTube at the Piper Blush Radio Show and also on WTPRRadio.com. Oh yes, because this show is broadcasted live, uh -huh, as usual, as always. You can participate in the show by being on YouTube at the Piper Blush Radio Show in the live comment section. Mm -hmm. I love it when you make your way onto there and you interact with me live during the show. There's also a phone number that you will be able to call in uh -huh, within all of this episode and that's 1-888-614-5006 uh -huh. now some of you might have been there earlier today for piper's poolside barbecue where the tent blew away uh -huh. it fell in the pool actually it was a bit crazy mm -hmm. a bit really mega crazy but don't worry the tent is here i'm here and we are talking emojis mm -hmm. Because in the last Love, Lust and the Devil, we were discussing talk dirty to me, uh huh, things that we can say in the dirty way. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the end of the show, well, there was something to say about emojis, so I've decided we were gonna do a whole entire show about emojis, uh huh. Not like emojis the movie, because that's kind of that's kind of cool too, but more like how emojis affect sex, uh huh. Okay, so it's like talk dirty to me with emojis, mm hmm. You wanna play a game? Uh -huh. So this will be a game, okay? It's gonna be a game. I want you to go on YouTube at the Piper Blush Radio Show. If you're not there, you need to go there right now. That's where you need to be. Mm -hmm. Because you are gonna write only in emojis uh -huh, what you're trying to say. But dirty talking, you know, dirty talking. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna need to have to guess, okay? So share this video with all of your friends, uh -huh, co-workers, anybody on your Facebook, social media, or anything like that. Oh, yeah. Because I need to guess what your emojis mean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you can guess too. So this is gonna be quite the game on Love, Lust, and the Devil. You need to actually put emojis in there though, yeah. Put me some emojis. We got Gopher Chucks who's here. I am in both places. Thank you, Gopher Chucks, uh -huh, for your support. Trasher6499 says, Evening, Piper. Happy Taco Tuesday. See, that's a good one. Uh huh. You want to go grab a taco later? Uh huh. That can all be put into emojis. So that's what you need to do. You need to put it in emojis. Uh -huh. Super mega easy. Talk dirty to me in emojis. <laughs> and you need to do it all uh -huh, on YouTube at the Piper Blush Radio Show, yes, so that I can read your emojis and everybody else can actually read your emojis as well. Mm -hmm. We got Cesar who's here. Hello, Piper. Hello, everybody. Hello, Cesar. Also, Carl who's here. Piper, do it to it. Do it to it. Okay, cool. Great. Mm -hmm. And then, well, we have Javier, Puerto Rican Papi, who is starting this awesome game. Okay, I want you all to do this. Uh -huh. So, well, Puerto Rican papi that just prompt me with some emojis. Mm -hmm. So we saying peach peach. Okay, so I'm guessing two peaches. So, <laughs> well, nice, nice peaches. Uh -huh. Two round peaches. That's maybe two women, two women. One taco, one burrito and one, what's that? What is that? Oh, that looks like a pita. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, one pita. So I think what Javier is trying to say is actually, well, two two peaches so two uh, you know two plump peaches mm -hmm. one taco one burrito so i guess the taco is probably well you know there's like one woman involved one man involved and then attack like a pizza for some reason so i don't know who's the pizza in that equation but there's a lot of people involved so far i'm seeing maybe like maybe three people maybe three people inv involved in puerto rican papi is actually like well, talk dirty to me. Uh huh. Pretty intense. Now you also need to guess. Yeah, you need to guess in the comment section on YouTube at the Piper Blush Radio Show. Try to guess what emojis mm -hmm, mean what. Yeah. Okay. It's like a talking in hieroglyphs. Uh huh. You need to make like full sentence with emojis, but it needs to be dirty talk in emojis. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to reinvent the dirty talk language with only emojis. Mm -hmm. Now you got all the emojis on your phone, computer, or wherever you are to play this game. Mm -hmm. I am gonna try to actually, well, read all of your emojis. So Javier, because you put like two peaches, you know, I'm thinking like two, two people, because that's like two booties, right? Because a peach is like, two cheeks already so that's what i'm thinking that's what i'm thinking like two two women but we need a sentence we need a sentence now carl is saying spicy mushroom which could mean spicy but circumcised 
Uh huh. Or uncircumcised. We're not sure. So far, said Lord Billy said that mushroom meant circumcised for some reason. Uh huh. I know you're gonna learn a lot about emojis and their sexual meaning. Oh, that's like that's like the sexual meaning of emojis, pretty much. Now, okay, it's great, guys. Uh huh. You've you've been playing. You've been playing a little bit, but we need to build some sentences, some actual sentences and emojis. You need to make it like like a story, you know? Uh huh. Like knock at the door, come and find me in the bathtub. Follow the trail of roses, and then bam, taco burrito. You get it? Uh huh. Like, be creative with your emojis, yeah? Don't worry. The setup should not actually move this time. I put some weights. Uh huh. Lots and lots of weights because it actually will move before. <laughs> okay, great. Now, we also have a Nadav AB, Mr. Uh huh. Well, I haven't really changed. You got fit. I'm pretty much the same fitness as usual, but happy to see you too. Now, Ronald Jeffers says, good evening, Piper. Hello from Chicago. Well, hello from Canada. Uh huh. There's no way this is real, bro. Well, unfortunately, it's it's real. It's really real. This is live. Uh huh. This is live from mental abortion. Ooh, that's a nice name your mom gave you. Okay, Settler Billy, happy to see you right here, right now. Uh huh. You need to actually talk dirty in only emojis. That's all you have. All you have is emojis on YouTube at the Piper Blush Radio Show in the live chat. Mm -hmm. Because this is live, you can do it live. Now, I want you to be creative. You can't just put an eggplant there and some water. This is not a story. This doesn't mean anything. You need to be a bit more creative. You need to talk in emojis. Now, Sid Lord Billy says, oh my, and then this kind of the two hands together. I guess it means, oh my God, which is good, Sid Lord Billy. It's good. Now, Sid Lord Billy also says the actual fish with a hand so fishy hand that could be it oh rob a is getting good at it but rob i mean you didn't even do like a little bit of foreplay uh-huh you're right in the donut banana i mean right in there like right in there seriously like no foreplay just like donut banana bam it's already peeled too the banana's already peeled this is way too fast this has escalated way too quickly rob okay so rob what you need to do first uh-huh you need to take the bottle with the lotion you know and then the little like emojis that spurt blah, 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 blah. yeah that one that one like the wet emoji and then maybe a flower the kiss emoji and then donut banana get it uh-huh you can't just like text somebody donut banana right away they're gonna be shocked it's way too crazy plus like a donut banana i don't think they serve that at tim hortons uh -huh. so we're gonna know what you mean mm -hmm. treasure 64.99 cents fire and cherries Ooh, does that mean like your nipples are on fire uh-huh that could be it or i've heard that cherries might mean mm -hmm, might mean uh testicles for some reason so my testicles are on fire well at least they're not blue <laughs> oh yeah i'm liking this game be creative people Go steal some on the internet, steal some memes, uh-huh. You need to make it good. I am practicing your skills, okay? For actual sexting in only emojis, so that nobody understand except from you. Now, Settler Billy did give us a good one yesterday, so I'm gonna say that. How do you say in emojis, I want to French kiss you? Go ahead, uh-huh, on YouTube at the Piper Blush Radio Show. Put it right there, mm -hmm, put it right there, and I will judge if you are right or wrong. How do you say, I want to French kiss you and Emojis only. You cannot use words. No letters, people. We're going all the way emojis. Mm -hmm. Give me your best dirty talk in only emojis. <gasps> I have no idea if YouTube's gonna pick up on this or not, but we are gonna try this. We are gonna try this. Uh huh. Okay. Now, go for Chuck says kiss a finger in the taco. That's pretty good. Like at least go for Chuck took the time to kiss before. You know. Uh huh. There was a bit of foreplay there. Maybe a little bit of consent too. Uh huh. Cause kiss. <coughs> You know some kissing? Finger tackle. That's that's good. I think go for Chuck. You're gonna get some with that attitude. Uh-huh. Okay, Settler Billy. Settler Billy's got a peach, a finger, a kind of face that goes like this. So I'm guessing finger up the peach. Uh -huh. And then a bottle of champagne. Okay, bottle of champagne could mean a few things. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could mean kind of a psh, like, you know, the ending of a great, 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 great sex uh -huh. like seance or something like that but it could also mean you know i i like your booty come with me like i raised my hand for a question 
I feel shy, and then let's go have some champagne. I mean, it could also mean that. Mm -hmm. I'll say Lord Billy, I'm not sure. Rob A sends a snake and a tulip. Okay, so, well, I guess after the donut and the banana, he's like, now I'll give you a snake and a tulip. Tulip is kind of nice, I mean, it's a flower, uh huh. The snake, I'm not sure. Like, is it, is it actually, a, is it actually a flower? Or are we talking about something else here? Share this video with your friends right now, uh huh. We want to know their best dirty emojis, mm hmm. You need to not use words, but use only emojis to describe, well, sexual thoughts. Uh -huh. This is Love, Lust and the Devil with your host Piper Blush, mm -hmm, where we burn down the taboos around sex. Oh yeah, this is awesome. So give it to me, people. Mm -hmm. And if you're curious, go to YouTube at the Piper Blush Radio Show because that is where everybody is prompting me uh -huh, with their best, best emojis, okay? Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now, we said Lord Billy, okay, is saying that uh, actual the champagne popping is called load. <laughs> <gasps> okay, popping your load. Mm -hmm. I get that. I get that. If you like, if you drive a semi, uh huh, maybe that's gonna happen to you. That's a big possibility. Mm -hmm. This is a challenge, Piper. I know, Carl. It's a pretty intense challenge, right? Okay. So the thing is, the thing is, don't stop being creative. You just need to add on to it, uh huh, as you go. And I'm gonna help you. Yeah. So we can make a new dictionary, uh huh, with only emojis. Cause you know how much I love to use emojis. I mean, I really love them. I really, really mega, you love them. Plus, well, all of your emojis will stay on YouTube, uh huh, as proof of our awesome discovery that emojis could possibly replace word, mm hmm, in dirty talking. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And really, seriously, if ever you accidental sex someone just like on wtprradio.com in our discord server and well they find a whole bunch of emojis that are dirty but are still emojis you can always get away with it but if they see uh -huh, the person you accidentally sex they actually see uh -huh, some words that describe things well there's no way you're getting out of it no way mm -hmm. it's gonna be very hard for you to explain the things I have in my mind that I could say. Uh huh. So it's not gonna happen. No possibility. Treasure sixty four ninety nine says French kiss can be described. Uh huh. With the emoji, the French flag, and the kiss. See, this is great. Okay. So how would you describe the Australian kiss? You know what the Australian kiss is, right? If nobody knows, write it to me in the comment on YouTube at the Piper Blush Radio Show. Do it right now. Uh huh. What's an Australian kiss? Cause a French kiss, well, we all know, is a kiss with the thong. Uh huh. Tongue, tongue, that, uh, that part of your body. Mm -hmm. What's the Australian kiss? I mean, Robe might be kind of close to it. So Robe sends a thong, 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 a thong, that, uh, that thing. Mm -hmm. A taco and some wetness. Uh -huh. Okay, so that might mean, you know, cunilingus. Uh -huh. Definitely. I think that's what he means. But, okay, there's no, like, there's no nothing before that. Uh -huh. It's just kind of like, bam, tongue, taco, wet. Okay? It's just like tongue tackle wit. Magnus says, I do not know what Australian kiss is. Oh my God, Magnus. Great thing that you landed on, love, lust, and the devil. Uh -huh. Because we explain everything on here. Mm -hmm. So the Australian kiss is actually a kiss down south uh -huh, that you give to a woman with your lips and tongue. Get it? Yeah. Okay, share this video with everybody. So that, uh, well, we can have a lot more. Mm -hmm. Love down south and up north. Doesn't really matter. Everywhere, really. That's what Love, Lust, and the Devil is all about. We have here, mm, okay, Rob Hey, who says, mm, wow, this is poetic. So he says that the meaning behind the snake and the tulip is actually, I want to slither inside your innocent bloom. Not sure who's poetry that is but it's very poetic also very erotic uh -huh, in that sense thank you for sharing rob so that would be the snake and the tulip if you are actually wondering mm -hmm. keep on prompting me yeah okay share your best emoji sequence mm -hmm. best dirty talk emojis in a sequence it needs to mean something you can't just like bleh, vomit like six emojis and say lick lick look touch uh-huh that's all great emojis but it needs to mean something and the order in which you put it is very important uh-huh because if you put the banana before the donut doesn't mean the same thing as the donut and the banana get it uh-huh now you need to do this do this right now send me your very best dirty talk in emoji forms <gasps> we're trying to fool youtube uh-huh see if it's gonna know what we mean because it's all emojis and not actual real words oh yeah mm-hmm okay we have bacardi bob who says um 
I want to melt into your sweet little dark place. Bacardi Bob, that's great. But now you need to put it into emojis. Uh huh. The whole point of this is emoji. Yeah. Don't use your words. Use pictures. Use emojis, people. Uh huh. Be creative. Okay. Perfect. I got. I got something for you. I got something for you. Are you ready? So I'm gonna prompt you, and you're gonna need to give me an answer in emojis. Are you ready? Hooray! I knew you were ready. Okay, perfect. I want to have sex. After I pay the restaurant, we will go to the hotel. Okay? That sounds great. Uh huh. So, you can do it a few different types. It could be like, uh, mm, let's go to the restaurant. After that, we'll go to the hotel and I'll pay everything. And we'll have sex. Get it? Okay? Put that to me in emojis. Mm hmm. Hell, I need emojis. Yes, you need emojis, Bacardi Bob. That's the whole point of the show. Uh huh. It's a whole bunch of emojis. Okay, Go for Chuck is actually like doing it on the Discord server. I'm gonna need to go on the Discord server. Okay, Carl sent a peach and a uh, male sign. So I'm guessing that's like booty and male. So does that mean gay in some way? I'm not sure. Maybe like in the booty. But is that is that? that homosexual or not uh -huh. I don't know Carl you explain it to me go for Chuck says your I guess because you know that's like this like finger pointing at you he's pointing the finger your kitty finger up and then face that has tongue out for a lot of time and then BAM you see stars that's a pretty good one, Gopher Chucks. Uh huh. I like that one. There's a lot of, uh, you know, thinking behind this one. Mm -hmm. So your kitty, my finger up, your we don't know, and then licking, and then for a lot of time until reach stars. I mean, we kind of can get the gist of that, right? So it's the finger emoji, it's the kitty emoji, it's the finger pointing up emoji, then it's the smiley with the tongue out, it's a timer, and it's a an actual wool star. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. See, people, it's not that difficult. Just use actual emojis to describe what you're feeling inside. Mm -hmm. To, like, put into dirty talk emoji. Super mega easy. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. Now, Bacardi Bob is sending... I think this means F the police for some reason, so I'm not sure. There's like, uh, okay, a blue guy, a monkey, and F the police. That, that's what I'm reading. Uh -huh. I'm not sure that's what it means, Bacardi Bob. I need some help. Mike Wrangle sends an actual emoji that smiles and has heart instead of his eyes. Mm -hmm. So that's just kind of love, right? Uh -huh. That's just kind of love. It's great. Love is great. But you need to do a whole sentence. Okay, a whole sentence. So Carl is actually playing. Carl is actually playing. Okay, so Carl sent a peach, a cucumber, a pineapple. Okay, peach, we kind of know that's a booty, right? Cucumber, well, that depends. I mean, maybe it's smaller than an eggplant. Maybe it's only two inches. Is it like a Lebanese cucumber? Those are smaller, right? It's like a cock. Oh, Wayne Fields and five dollars. Thank you, Wayne. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Awesome. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, the thing is, people, the thing is, you need, you need to do a complete sentence. Uh huh. A complete sentence, just like Carl. Carl's getting there. Booty, cucumber, pineapple. I think it doesn't. Does pineapple kind of mean I'm going to eat lots of pineapple, you know, so I taste good? Uh -huh. Or does pineapple mean hospitality? Because the pineapple also kind of means hospitality sometimes. And then, okay, the bed. So you got peach, cucumber, pineapple, a bed. I mean, it could be hospitality in my bed. And then it's going to be hot. And then it's going to rain. But don't worry, I've got an umbrella. This is perfect, Carl. This is perfect. That's exactly it. Uh huh. Okay, this is amazing. This is amazing. Now, this is what you need to do. You need to actually... Mm -hmm, Think of a dirty sentence you want to say. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, honey, I want to meet you at the restaurant, touch you a little bit under the table, then go in the washroom, do it, and bring you back home. Uh -huh. Now put that into emojis, okay? You do it right now. It's dirty talk in emojis. We're like Egyptians. It's like hieroglyphs, but of 2023. It's amazing stuff. Now, treasure 64.99. Okay, so has two glasses of champagne click click uh -huh. a nice spaghetti dinner and then two lovers and a bed so that's perfect so it's like okay we're gonna drink we're gonna go to dinner then we're gonna make out and then we're gonna go and sleep <laughs> okay okay bed could mean two things now pineapple is a symbol for swingers what 
I didn't know this. Did anybody know this? Uh huh. Tell me in the YouTube comment section. Did you know that pineapple was a symbol for swingers? What? What? What did the pineapple do? Uh huh. To be a symbol for swingers. I mean, it's prickly. It hurts. Why would swingers choose that pineapple? Cause mi casa is su casa. That is that why? Carl, I need more information. Uh huh. Why is this a symbol for swinging? The pineapple. This is weird. This is very weird, but I like it. I like it a lot. You know, pineapple is one of the fruits that most people love. Uh huh. In the whole entire world, the pineapple is the number one fruit. I know. You thought it was the banana. Me too. But no. Mm -hmm. It's the pineapple, actually. Yep. Obi Sanders says, "What's poppin', Piper? Everyone, put that in an emoji, Obi. Mm -hmm. We are doing emoji dirty talk, so you can only use emojis to describe your dirty talking. Mm -hmm. That's how it goes." Okay, so Sidler Billy says, "I can give you an entire guide on my sex emojis, lol." Kirsten used them too. That's amazing. Okay, well, keep on going, Sidler Billy. I mean, educate everybody. Uh -huh. We actually need to transform all of our dirty talking into emojis. I'm gonna get you another homework in a second. I just need to read all these other ones. Okay, mm, Cesar says, Do you? I think that's a white cracker. Okay, I know I'm white, but I'm not sure if this is really nice, you know? Uh -huh. I mean, it's a sign with a beige, it's like a beige square. I don't know what that is. Do you want to go eat salad? <laughs> That's pretty good. And then go to the hospital, watch a movie, and then we can kiss and bath and then go to bed. Why would we go to the hospital though? I mean, I mean, some people like to, to go to the hospital to watch movies. Maybe it's free over there. Uh huh. Plus they have great jello. I mean, I, I like jello. Uh -huh. Hospital jello is great. Maybe you can choose the pudding instead. Uh huh. It's gonna be cheaper. Plus, if something happens to you while you're already at the hospital. So I kind of get it, Cesar. I kind of get it. Uh -huh. It's pretty nice. Yeah, thank you for sharing. Okay, Mike Wrangles says, loud ears. Oh, and then kind of a massage of the head and then more loudness and then some rain. Okay, so you hear someone coming up behind you. The sound is getting louder and louder and really wet. It, that's probably the pool man uh -huh, that gets out of the pool, right, Mike? Because I'm broadcasting live from the pool side, people. Uh -huh. For everybody who's not here in visual, well, only in audio at the Piper Blush radio show on YouTube, mm -hmm. you can actually see it. You can see me near the pool. It's super mega amazing. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Mike. Well, that is great. I think nobody knew that the actual, actual, uh huh, um, pineapple was a sign for swingers. So be careful when you actually use the pineapple emoji, mm -hmm. when you're actually sexting, because well, there's a possibility your girlfriend is gonna think that you wanna, you wanna swap, uh huh, you wanna exchange her for another girl tonight, and that could cause some serious, serious, well relationship issues mm -hmm. so now that you know the pineapple is a symbol of swingers just make sure you use it carefully is there any other emojis that you think we should be made aware of mm -hmm. to not actually will go into things that we would not want to go into while we are sexting with all of our emojis share it now uh -huh, on youtube at the piper blush radio show oh yeah i want to know this i want to know this okay javier says i want to eat some tacos that's three tacos that's a lot of tacos at the same time javier you only have one mouth you know mm -hmm. i think you could handle maybe one taco in your mouth one in the right hand one in the li left hand uh -huh. that would make like three tacos you know but you would still just have one in your head in your mouth like just one mm -hmm. and then one in each hand, that's three taco. I mean, you could use your finger, like your fingers in your toes, kind of, to, to do like more tacos. So maybe you could have like four tacos in your hands and in your toes, but then you could have one in your mouth. But that's a lot of tacos. Mm -hmm. Max Power says salad. Oh, so Max, okay, so Cesar is saying that actually it was the hotel, not the hospital. Well, that makes sense. Because mm -hmm. I thought, but the thing with a big H on it, I mean, really? Like, that's the hotel, and then the hospital. Well, it does look more like an hospital. Okay, so the thing is, the thing is, well, now you're at the hotel and you go watch a movie at the hotel. You know what kind of movie you watch when you're at the hotel, right? It's one of these paid movies. Mm -hmm. That's what you watch. Like when you're at the hotel, everybody does that, right? You share this video right now if you want to know how to dirty talk in only emojis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because you need to know, yes, you need to know uh -huh, how 
to decipher sex emoji talking mm -hmm. or dirty talking in emojis. You have to know this. It's very important. Uh -huh. I love emojis. Use them all the time. I mean, you could use it even more. You can use them all, actually. Okay, so we have Puerto Rican Papi who says, uh, I want to eat some watermelon and peaches. But isn't there a lot of seeds in watermelon? You sure you don't want to eat some taco instead? Uh-huh. I mean, watermelon like... <laughs> Like a lot of that in watermelon. But maybe, I mean, maybe it's like an unshaved watermelon. That's why. Uh huh. Like maybe that could be the thing. I mean, that makes sense, right? How would you define a shaved versus not shaved? Ah, send me an emoji right now on YouTube at the Piper Blush Radio Show. Yeah. Okay, so some people are saying salad means like toss the salad. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Uh huh. Tossing the salad. Seeds are healthy when roasted. But well, thank you for sharing, Puerto Rican papi. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty delicious too. Okay, so Magnus sounds like a... <laughs> and then a yeah. And then a mummy for some reason. And then game over. And then somebody who cries. I don't think that's very sexual, Magnus. Mm -hmm. I think you need to kind of maybe up your game a little bit. I mean, the... <laughs> That was pretty good. Then the, ooh, the big eyes and the heart, that was good. But then the mummy? I mean, are you like into, is it a mummy? Okay, no, it's a guy who does this. Are you a voyeur? Is that what it is? Uh-huh, is it like voyeur? And then game over, and then somebody that cries and that's purple. Oh, that seems like it hurts. Uh-huh, I, I don't know. What do you mean, Magnus? It's supposed to be sex talk. It's supposed to be fun, light, sexy, flirtatious. Uh -huh. You need this dirty talk with emojis. That's what you need to do. Do it right now in the live comment section on YouTube at the Piper Blush Radio Show. Oh, yeah. I'm reading them out loud all the time right now. Mm -hmm. Give me your best shot, though. Don't just put, like, one or two emojis. Make a sentence. You need to make a plausible sentence. Like... What are you wearing right now? Mm -hmm. Like that's your question, okay? And I answer in emojis, okay? Are you are you ready for this? So you're gonna answer for me in emojis. You need to say, I'm in the bathtub, wearing nothing, drinking some champagne, and while reading a pretty erotic book. See? Transform that into emojis. Go ahead right now. Bam, you do it. I'm in the bathtub, fully naked, uh-huh. Drinking some champagne, reading an erotic book. Okay, can you do it? Do it right now on YouTube at the Piper Blush Radio Show. I'm watching over you. Uh huh. I want to see if you're going to be able to actually sext. Yeah, dirty talk without any words, only emojis. It needs to be comprehensible, people. Uh huh. And so far, just sending a tongue and a kitty, Lone Rider, that's not enough. That's not like enough. Uh huh. That's just like a tiny mini mini skill bit uh -huh, of the actual dirty talk that you could do uh -huh, if you use more emojis there's so many you can use uh -huh. okay so lone rider start over again i mean start over this is not enough tongue and kitty not enough you need more you need some foreplay are you gonna go to dinner before that like are you gonna pay for the muni the movies like what are you gonna do what are you gonna do uh -huh. herkland says penguin penguin kiss <laughs> <gasps> I'm not sure what sexuality a penguin is. Uh -huh. What does penguin mean? Does it mean I'm going to get in suit and tie and my friend too and we're going to come and kiss you? Because that would be kind of hot. I mean, for some women, they have like some, you know, two guy, one girl fantasies. I mean, that's Crystal Powers thing, actually. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. What does two penguin mean? Erk, Herkland, uh-huh. Two penguin? What's a penguin? In a sexual emoji, in a dirty talk way. Richard Eckley sends high five and a smiley face. Well, I guess that's a good conversation starter, Richard. Mm -hmm. Like a high five and a smiley face. You can definitely start something there, but then you need it to get nasty at one point. I mean, you need to. Uh -huh. It's supposed to be dirty talk. It's supposed to be dirty talk, people. You're supposed to dirty talk in emojis. Okay? So you, you keep on going. You keep on going. I give you a task. Uh huh. I give you a task. You do it right now on YouTube at the Piper Blush Radio Show. Okay, so what you do is you need to actually picture this in emoji. So you need to do it. Do you have your emojis right now? Uh huh. You better have emojis. Okay. So you need to put in emojis. I'm in the bathtub, naked, drinking some champagne, reading an erotic book. Bam! You do it right now. Uh huh. Do it right now in emojis. It's not gonna cost you anything. The one that has the best ones, I'm gonna send a kiss to. Uh huh. Okay. So you do it. Timmy Russian. That's just a bat. That's not enough. I said I'm in the bathtub, naked 
with some champagne, reading an erotic book. Huh. The, the bath is a great start, but you need to add something to it. If actually, like, you're just like there, it doesn't matter. Like, you're the bat. Okay, that's getting there, Timmy. That's getting there. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got the bat, the champagne. It's getting there. It's getting there. Be more creative. Uh huh. Okay, perfect. And then Dave Frank. Okay, Dave Frank stand. What's that? A guy on a computer. Uh huh. Who's looking at Canada. <laughs> I think I get it. I think I get it. Okay. A guy on a computer who's looking at a, a Canadian person. That must be me, Piper Blush. Uh huh. And then he's got a phone. So maybe he's he's on the phone with the, I don't know the mayor. He's on the phone with the mayor, and he, he loves the mayor. And then he wants to go for a swim. Is that it? Uh huh. Did I get it right, Dave? Then Geraldine Lou is sending some uh, cold snow, cigarettes, and hotness. I mean, how is that sexy? Okay, I get it. I get it. I understand. I understand. Okay. So Geraldi Geraldine sent a snowflake, meaning. Ooh, it's getting cold in here. Uh huh. And then she sent a cigarette. Let's go inside for a smoke. Uh -huh. I would love that. Yeah. And I mean, we're talking marijuana, right? Okay, perfect. And then after we had the marijuana, let's get hot together. Uh -huh. So that works, Geraldine. That works a lot. Uh huh. You know, you can call me 1 888 614 5006 to tell me all about the best emojis mm -hmm. for dirty talking in emoji language. Oh, yeah. Okay, Timmy, you're getting there. We got the bathtub, we got the champagne, we got the books. But it doesn't specify if it's erotic books or if I'm actually naked in the bathtub. I mean, some people wear clothes in their bathtubs for some weird reason. Uh -huh. Have you ever seen this? It's a thing, people. It's a thing. Uh huh. Okay, I need to give you more homework. I actually need to make sure that you understand all of this. Uh huh. So, you ready for this? Share this video with all your friends uh -huh, on social media right now. We want more people to be able to decipher uh -huh, the sex uh, behind the emojis. Uh -huh. All emojis can be sexual. Did you know this? You didn't? Well, it's about time you know. Mm -hmm. So, we are deciphering the sexualities of emojis. Uh -huh. And we are using them to actually, well, depict uh -huh, our sexual fantasies right now. Oh, yeah. So, let's do this. Uh -huh. Show me your sexual fantasy with emojis. Do it right now on YouTube at the Piper Blush Radio Show in the live comment. Mm -hmm. There's like a live chat going on. It's the live chat going on. So, you go and put it right there, right now. Mm -hmm. Your sexual fantasy without any words, only emojis. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you mine later. So Lone Rider, okay. I guess that's Lone Rider's actual sexual fantasy. Interesting. He has a camera. So I think, okay, he has a camera. That's his first emoji. Then he has wet and kitty. Okay, so let's say, let's say Lone Rider's sexual fantasy is, okay, he goes to the camera store mm -hmm, and then he buys the camera of his dreams. He's so happy to have it, uh huh. Like he cries a lot, uh huh. He cries a lot, a lot, a lot, and he cries so much that once he gets out of the store, he slips and falls, uh huh, on his booty, yeah. And then while he's crying because it hurts, not because he's bought the camera of his dreams, uh mm huh. -hmm, well, there's a cat that happens to be there and start licking his face. <gasps> that makes sense, right? You have another? Like an actual other story for this? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, it could be something else. It could be. He wants to record some actual cats getting wet. Like some kitties getting wet. Some people do that. It's a thing. It's an actual thing. Mm -hmm. Carl says, plastic pink flamingos, toe rings, anklets for swingers. That's all the stuff swingers use to like make sure that you know they're swingers? That's a lot. Okay, people. This is exclusive news. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, you ready for this? So Carl, a I guess swinger, oh, but if not, he wouldn't know all these things, you know. So he must be a swinger. Now he says that if you wanna be a swinger, if you wanna attract some swingers mm -hmm, with emojis, what you need to do is use the plastic pink flamingo, toe rings, anklets for swingers. So there's actually like plastic pink flamingo toe rings and anklets for swingers. Upside down pineapple too. Why would the pineapple be upside down? I mean, what happened to the pineapple for it to be upside down? So that is how you will spot a swinger. If they have some pink flamingos anklets or actual toe rings. Though if they're under 18, it's probably not that. Just saying, uh-huh. I mean, 
this, they, they, they probably don't know. Uh huh. They definitely don't know that's what it's for. Okay. They have no idea. So just leave them alone. Mm -hmm. Then. Okay. We have other awesome thing. Nadav A B Sam's an avocado. Okay, an avocado. That's pretty. That's good. It's good. An avocado. A peace and love sign. So your avocado is peace, is peaceful, and then it rains. And then there's a lot, a lot, a lot of rain on your avocado. And uh, I have a question. <gasps> I mean, I don't know. Maybe he has avocado questions. Maybe that's what's happening. Then maybe that's what's... I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So Cesar says, I'm in the bath. Oh, and my clothes are off. Because uh -huh, like the, the shirt, the pants and the panties are off. Looking at a slide and a boy mag and champagne oh okay i get it uh -huh. so the boy might be like erotic novel waiting for you oh that's good that's good cesar that's good uh-huh okay so we're getting there we're getting there now try to not use any words people no words only emojis only emojis you need to be able to actually speak your mind with only emojis i know it's a bit scary if you've never done it we're not all egyptians and we haven't all used hieroglyphs mm -hmm. but emojis is kind of a ways to communicate and there's so many things you can communicate through emojis emotions with the face emojis but also sexual anatomy mm -hmm. with other well fruit emojis mm -hmm, or vegetable emojis and then there's a location yeah you can actually define a location like cesar who defined the hotel mm -hmm. so be creative like invite me on a first date with emojis okay tell me what you would do to me in emojis do it right now on youtube at the piper blush radio show uh -huh. i've got i've got lots here i've got lots i think troy troy Patton is on is He's on it. He's on it. He's got two roses for me. Ooh, that's nice. Thank you, Troy. Mm -hmm. I like roses. Now, two. I don't know why. Maybe this one for you, one for me. Maybe one for me, one for another girl. I don't know. Like Charlotte, something like that. You want me to bring a girlfriend? Do you want me to bring a girlfriend, Troy? But you didn't even ask me out yet. You can't. I can't bring a girlfriend like the first night. Uh huh. I mean, we need to know each other a little bit more before I bring a girlfriend, right? Or else, I mean. It depends. If we started our whole relationship, like wanting a threesome is different. Mm -hmm. But if not, it's like we need to be a little bit exclusive before we're not exclusive, right? Or something like that. I mean, depends. So Troy's got two roses. I don't know if there's one for me, one for another girl, or... I don't know. But then we're going to go eat spaghetti. I like spaghetti. Uh -huh. Spaghetti is delicious. Plus, well, it's a good meal. You know, lots of carbohydrates. I heard that it makes you last long. Mm -hmm. For some reason. So that's perfect. After that, well, there's a peach there. So maybe, well, after eating that much spaghetti, well, you're going to be tired of sitting down. Uh huh. So your booty's going to hurt. So, well, he's going to use his hand to clap on it. Mm -hmm. You know, to revive it. Uh huh. Because it's going to be all tingly because it was sitting down for too long. So he's going to slap that peach. Uh huh. A little bit. And then, well, he's going to have big art eyes. Uh huh. Because he's going to love it so much. And then, well, there's going to be some kissing involved. Bam! That's a good first date, Troy. I like that one. Very, very cool. Mm -hmm. We have Obi Sanders who can, who says, are you ready for this? Okay, Obi Sanders says, you can also spot swingers if they leave their keys in the bowl next to the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's because they want to sleep over. Uh -huh. But there's always a possibility mm -hmm, that, well, the swingers will sleep or not sleep. I mean, I've met many different types of swingers. Yeah, some swingers don't want to sleep. Why? Because they have a babysitter, so they can't sleep over. So they're really like, they want to get into it real fast. Uh -huh. Swingers with kids, oh, you need to be ready to like go at it fast. Mm -hmm. And you need to be available when they're available. It's kind of a, tough, a puzzle, that one. Mm -hmm. Just so you know. Now, Wayne Phil sends a tongue and a lollipop. Lollipop, lollipop, lollipop. Oh yeah, this is cool. Uh -huh. Okay, but that's not enough. We cannot just have two emojis, people. It's not descriptive enough. I know, I know. You're like, well, two emojis, Piper. It kind of just says it all. No, it doesn't. Uh -huh. You need to woo the woman. Yeah, or the man, or the trans. I don't know what you're into, but you need more wooing. So how would you invite me, Piper Blush, on a date with only emojis? 
Yeah, you got only emojis. I mean, it's the end of the world. There's no more letters in cell phones. No more. You cannot use letters. You need to use emojis. So what type of actual date would that look like in an emoji sign? Like, Troy was pretty good. Okay, but Cardi Bob's getting right at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven booties. Whew. That's like Snow White and the seven, you know, little people. Uh -huh, that's a lot of booties. I mean, I have some girlfriends, but seven all the same night? It's going to be difficult, Bacardi Bob. That's that's like a lot. Uh -huh, that's a lot. And then two tongues out, like half out, and then more out, and then a lot more out. So I guess there's a lot of tongue involved. Uh -huh. There's a lot of booty and a lot of tongue. I think what Bacardi Bob is saying is that maybe, just maybe, mm -hmm, he loves peaches a lot. Yeah, and he loves them so much that every time he sees a peach at the grocery store, he sticks his tongue out. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, they're all soft and mushy and he likes peaches. Mm -hmm. It's just like Justin Bieber. I got my peaches down in Georgia. Oh, yeah. You know that song? Uh -huh. Same, same. Well, Bacardi, you might have more in common with Justin than you know. <laughs> so, Lord Billy says, I play... Ooh, that's a good one, said Lord Billy. Okay, okay. So for all of you, okay, we're going there, said Lord Billy. We're going there because nobody's inviting me in a date f with emojis for some weird reason. Uh -huh. So we're going there. Role play. Uh huh. Are you ready? Okay, you need to role play with emojis. So role play to me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be Catwoman and I'm gonna whip your ass. Uh huh. Do that in emojis because said Lord Billy has already started. I'm gonna play doctor in the hospital. See, uh huh. That is typical role play. Thank you, Sit Lord Billy. I think Sit Lord's like a professional at this. Mm hmm. Troy Patton says two roses for you. Oh, the two roses are for me? Oh, thank you. That's nice. Okay, perfect. I won't bring my girlfriend then. Too bad. I mean, I already asked her. But don't worry about it. It's fine. She's gonna find other plans. It's all cool. Timmy Rushton sends a lollipop, a banana, a bomb, and then an explosion. Okay. So I guess well the, when the lollipop interacts with the banana, I think I think probably the lollipop is sorta kinda hmm maybe this I think it's licking the lollipop he wants to mean you know I'll take you to the candy shop. Ba, 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 ba. Too bad Kirsten's not there. I have all the songs tonight. I mean all of them. Okay, so actually Timmy is saying lollipop banana, which must mean lick. My banana like a lollipop. I mean, it's pretty good. If it's a frozen banana, it's actually delicious. You know, you can just freeze your banana uh -huh, and eat them as popsicles. Yep. Yeah, it's a thing. It's a, I've done that. Uh huh. Sometimes they kind of get darker. Yeah. So don't be, don't be like scared. Uh huh. Don't be like, oh my god, what happened to my banana? It's just because it oxidizes a little bit, but still very good. Uh -huh. It's like a popsicle banana now. It's a delicious thing. Yeah. And then so after you actually lick the frozen banana, you're supposed to have like the bomb. <laughs> And an explosion. Well, I guess that means that like that banana was really good in your mouth. Uh huh. So good that like you, you said it's the bomb. This banana popsicle is the bomb. Uh huh. I love it. Yeah, Timmy, that makes sense. I love banana popsicles too. <gasps> Super delicious. Today I had like a creamsicle though. It's also delicious. Not the same thing. Mm -hmm. All right. So go for Chuck is sending me. Ooh. Yeah, so the thing is on Discord, the uh, emojis are not the same as on YouTube. A lot more explicit. <laughs> okay, so, um, my, my God, Carl, seriously, even the Adirondack chairs are a symbol of swingers? Like, can, can non-swingers have emojis? Did you take them all? Okay, so no, no pineapple, no upside down pineapple, no flamingo, uh-huh. And now Adirondack chair is also, also for swingers. I mean, okay. I, uh, why not a swing? This is too complicated. Just take a swing. Then that's it. Leave the banana and all the other like, emojis alone. Uh -huh. Like a swing would be way less complicated. It's for swingers and then this is a swing. <laughs> an Adirondack chair. I mean an Adirondack chair. Like these chairs, these wooden chairs that are not comfortable. Like these ones. That's a symbol for swinging. Why? Cause, is it because they're big enough to have like two people in them at the same time? Is that why they're for swinging? I don't, I don't understand. Or do all swingers have like actually Adirondack chairs? Because I feel like all swingers have jacuzzis. That's what I feel like. Or boats. Uh -huh. All the swingers I've met have jacuzzis or boats. Yeah. Or like, you know, a cabin or something like that mm -hmm. to go swing. You know, it makes a lot of sense. It's like accessibility. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, this is too complicated. I don't want to be a swinger anymore. It's just, it's just taking off everybody's emojis. Plus, I don't have Adirondack chairs. My jacuzzi is broken, so I cannot be a swinger. It's impossible. And seriously, pineapple is not my favorite fruit. Uh huh. Plus, pink flamingos. 
I mean, I like that song from Lana Del Rey, but I don't really like pink flamingos. Like, except for maybe in Florida. It's not my style, people. It's not my style. So getting back to dirty talking emojis only edition. You need to dirty talk in only emojis. Send your emojis right now on YouTube at the Piper Blush Radio Show. Get it dirty. Mm -hmm. Put it dirty, as dirty as you can, but only with emojis. No words, people. No words. Mm -hmm. We need to fool YouTube. Yeah, that's what we need to do. Now, go for Chuck Sands' eyes. Big eyes. Big, big eyes. Mm -hmm. You get somebody that meditates and a Okay, so, so on Discord, there's actually like a penis emoji. Yeah, so it's actually, it's really cute. It's a really beautiful penis. Mm -hmm. So, well, if you go to Discord, wtpiradio.com, mm -hmm, and then you click Discord server, you will see what Gopher Trucks has actually well sent. And that's like, it's, it's, oh, sorry, YouTube. They've got better emojis over there. Mm -hmm. They're called stickers. You can kind of put whatever you want, like a little meme type of. So he's looking to meditate with his penis and a, an umbrella. So I guess it's a condom. Oh, I guess it's maybe a condom. Uh -huh. So maybe, just maybe, like, go for chugs. Is kind of looking, but he's keeping his cool. He's keeping his cool. Uh -huh. He's meditating, you know? He's meditating. He's keeping it in. And then he wants you uh -huh, to go up for spaghettis and then a little bit of dancing, salsa dancing, uh -huh, or tango or something. It's, get, it's getting cool. It's getting cool. And then... Oh, love will happen if you meditate with an umbrella mm -hmm, and you eat spaghetti. <laughs> See, this is a beautiful love story. Thank you, Gopher Chucks. Carl says, I have a jacuzzi too. I knew it, Carl. I told you all swingers have jacuzzis. It's a thing. If you're a swinger and you don't have a jacuzzi, I mean, tell me right now in the comment section on YouTube. I want to know what else do swingers have. We need to be able to spot you guys if we want to swing with you. Uh huh. Because if not, you just go up to a couple that's like fully exclusive and they freak out when you do that. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're here on Love Lust and the Devil. We are talking in emoji. Yeah, it's dirty talking. Talk dirty to me with only emojis. You cannot use words. For one, well, YouTube's probably going to hate it if we do use words. And for two, it's more fun. Uh huh. That way you can actually send emojis to everybody you know after that. Your friends, family. Maybe not your family, your friends, your co-workers, anybody you want to get dirty with. Mm -hmm. Send me your best emoji sentence. Uh huh. Only emojis to talk dirty to me. Do it right now. So we have here, Treasure, he says, I have one under my deck that I built. Ooh, he has a jacuzzi. See, so Treasure's a swinger too. Mm -hmm. I knew it. Swingers have jacuzzis. It's a thing. Okay. Two peaches for Piper. Okay, so one peach is one cheek each. I'm, I'm thinking that's what it is. Uh -huh. Now, I don't swing with a couple if the fridge is empty. That's from OB Sanders. Well, that's too bad. Why don't you swing with a couple if the fridge is empty? So you're just there for food? Are you like some sort of a prostitute? Uh -huh. A 20 is a 20. A beer is a beer. A piece of cheese is a piece of cheese, baby. Uh -huh. Or whole date. Okay, so OP Sanders wants a whole date. Treasure, I think, is saying if you like Star Trek, well, we can have champagne together. Uh huh. That's pretty badass, yeah. Okay, Timmy says, thanks for the tip on banana popsicle in the freezer. Sounds yummy. I know, it really does. It really does. And it is yummy. Mm -hmm. And then Adam McKinney is here. Hey, Adam. Happy to see you. Oh, yeah. John King, too. Hi, Piper. Hi, John. So cool that you can all be here. Okay, a chair, not a jacuzzi. Okay, Trasher actually have a, an Adirondack chair. Be careful, people, be careful. Adirondack chair means you're a swinger. Uh -huh. The pineapple emoji too. Now that you know this, if you're not a swinger, don't use the pineapple emoji in your dirty talk. Don't do that. Uh -huh. People are going to think you're swinging. Yeah. Also, the Adirondack chair and the pink flamingo. Mm -hmm. Those are signs of swingers yeah no i have nothing against swingers personally but i mean that's what it is and crystal has a jacuzzi too remember i do remember i've used a jacuzzi oh yeah the wind is getting up people uh -huh. but don't worry nothing's gonna bring us down what else is getting up tell me in a youtube comment with an emoji only mm -hmm. on youtube at the piper blush radio show what else have we got here okay some people have been getting frisky uh -huh, with their emojis Moto Miles says, I think I failed this assignment. Haha, <laughs> I didn't use enough emojis. I got right to business too fast. That's the thing. That's the thing, Moto Miles. You can't do that. Uh huh. You need to actually like describe something like a date or a date. Uh huh. So be creative with your emojis. Okay, I'm going to prompt you again. Are you ready for this? -da 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 -da. Okay, all right. So, me and you, we go uh -huh, to swim in the sea. 
naked. Uh-huh. And then you take me to the hotel. Hotel, motel, holiday inn. Uh-huh. And then we drink champagne and well, we stay there all night long. All right? Transform this into an emoji sentence that I could understand and anybody else could understand. It's quite easy if you think about it, people. It's quite easy. Mm-hmm. Now, Treasure says, I'm an eggplant. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so emojis like, like Treasure's a guy because he's saying eggplant. Eggplant, I think, means you've got the male anatomy part. Mm-hmm. But not to worry. You can have the female, the male. You can have whichever one you want. So Wayne is sending a finger. Uh huh. In Italian food, because he loves Italian. Yeah, is that isn't that like the Italian sign? Like grazie. Uh huh. Like this? No, like this is Italian, right? Which one's Italian? Okay, so finger in in the hole. Uh huh. For some reason. So maybe I don't know. He likes donuts. And then then there's like, is that bamboo, Wayne? So it's like finger hole. Bamboo and love. But what what you do with the bamboo? Like is it like bam I'm not sure what you, do you have a panda? Is that what the bamboo is for? I mean if you have a finger in the hole and then you have some bamboo. Do you have bamboo sheets? Is that what it's about? Uh-huh. I mean, there's a possibility. So you need to tell me. You put the finger in the hole and then you got the bamboo. Do you whistle on the bamboo? <laughs> You know some people do that? They can whistle in bamboo. <laughs> yeah, I've tried this. Uh -huh. It can sound pretty nice sometimes, actually. Mm -hmm. So this is Piper Blush, and you're listening to or watching Love Lust and the Devil. We are talking. Talk dirty to me, but only in emojis. Uh huh. Only emojis are allowed. So you can actually talk dirty to me right now, but it needs to stay in emojis. Yeah. So give me your best shot. Uh huh. Your best dirty talk. Only in emojis. And I mean only in emojis. You cannot use words. You can put it right now in the live chat mm -hmm. on YouTube at the Piper Blush Radio Show. Oh yeah, okay. On the Discord server, we've got a new a new one from Go for Chucks. You ready for this? Kiss, kiss, love. Oh, some fireworks. I think fireworks is a great, great emoji to describe. Oh, well, the big O. Uh huh. Bam, bam, bam. Some lights, some big sounds. Uh huh. It's great. And then more kisses, some fire, mind blown, and then this. Okay, this can mean rock and roll, but it can also mean other things. I will not say this on YouTube, but I know what you're doing, go for Chuck. Uh huh. Get it? Yeah? If you're watching me, you know. If not, well, too bad. Uh huh. Okay, awesome. So, Sittler Billy has something else. Mm -hmm. He has something else. You need to prompt it. You need to prompt it. You need to talk dirty to me, but only with emojis. I mean, be creative. There's so many emojis you can use. I think, like, nobody has used... Let me check my emojis. I'm pretty sure, like, there's a whole bunch of emojis that we can actually, actually use. Uh-huh. Like, actually. Okay? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What emojis can I use? No, that's picture. Done. Okay. If I go here, and then bam. Nobody has used the rocket! Puerto Rican puppy, why haven't you used the rocket? I mean, the rocket is a great emoji. See, nobody has used the rocket yet. Uh, the pepper, people have used the spicy pepper. The donut was used. Mm -hmm. The peach was definitely, definitely used. Okay, so Sittler Billy is saying tongue out, peach, and mind blown. Yeah, I know what that means. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what else have we got here? I mean, nobody used the guy with the mustache. I mean, nobody. Why won't you use the guy with the mustache? Uh huh. Like, that's, that's not a thing. You could use crotch rocket. You know, you could use that, uh-huh. You could use the crotch and the rocket. That'd be great. Okay, what else have we got here? The hot one has not been used. The devil one has not been used. The role play as a clown has not been used. I mean, you can use so many. There's like some lipstick there, uh-huh. There's actual like, oh, there's a police officer. There's a construction worker. There's a magician. There's a detective. There's a chef. There's an agriculture, there's a teacher, uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, there's a pilot, an actual pilot. Oh my God, okay, wait, we got a phone call. Sweet, I'll keep it. Hells, love line, this is Piper Blush. Who's this? Hello. Hey. It's Sith Lord Billy. Sith Lord Billy, amazing to have you on the line. Because so far, you've been very insightful with your emoji uses, right? 
Yes, they have entitled translation uh, translation guides online, including uh, translators like like you know like English to uh, to French. Seriously? They have that with emojis. They have that with emojis, so you yeah. can actually put in words and get emojis out of it. Yeah, some things are just words, but because not, not everything can be translated to emojis. Like, oh. but yeah. Does it do sexy things too, yeah. or does it only do like the boring stuff? Um, I haven't looked at all, of them, but I've looked at some of them. <laughs> okay, that's amazing. So, what's the name of this website? Um, those those quite a few of them. I don't know them offhand, oh. but I've actually visited. Them. Okay, I've actually visited them. I could see about seeing uh, when I get a chance, maybe this code, maybe. Uh huh. All right. So you you just kind of prompted on Google like emoji translator, like from English to emoji. It's not. Uh, they these sites on Google. Uh -huh. It's not like Google. It's they're like uh, other websites that just deal in that. Oh, okay. I That's interesting. So you can yes. translate anything from words to emojis without necessarily needing to think about it. You can just like put it in there, yeah. then it translates it for you. This is so cool. Yeah, I mean, if it's one of those things where it could be translated to emojis, yeah. of course, because I guess everything can be emoji. Uh -huh. Emoji. <laughs> can what be emoji. emoji. Uh -huh. yeah. And so, what's your favorite emoji, yeah. said Lord Billy, to define sex? Like, which one would it be? Um. Oh, so many. Um, never thought about it. Um, well, like, would it be some? Let's just do the pop cooking. The what? The load. Come on. The load. The load. Wine. Okay, so it would yeah, be the, the champagne. Wine. The champagne is floating. So that's your favorite yeah, one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yes, <laughs> that's it great. is. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for calling, said Lord Billy. That's a good one. Keep on prompting, huh? You're encouraging other people to do it, right? Yes. Bye. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Take care and drive. Uh, stay safe. Bye. Well, do. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, so said Lord Billy's actual favorite emoji mm -hmm, is the load, or how, what he calls the load. It's the champagne popping pop. Champagne showers, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. This is amazing. This is amazing. Okay, pretty cool. Now, uh, we have Trasher, who's there again, uh-huh. And then Wayne, okay, 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 okay. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Carl, Carl, so Carl, sent. Are you ready for this, people? Are you ready? So you need to guess too, okay? I'm not the only one who guesses. You need to guess what these emojis actually mean, mm -hmm. And then you see if you get it right or not, right? Okay, super cool. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. So Carl has a bunny, some honey, and then a gold medal. So bunny, honey, gold medal. I mean, you could honey your bunny. That's the thing. I don't know if bunnies like actual honey. When they get stuck, I mean, you know in Winnie the Pooh, there's like Winnie the Pooh, he, he liked honey. But then the rabbit, just like carrots, did not like honey that much. But then Winnie the Pooh was kind of friends with a bunny. Uh -huh. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Carl. And then you get a gold star uh -huh, from actually like hitting that, that bunny with the honey. Ooh, sounds nice. Uh -huh. Thanks, Carl. Okay. More emoji prompting. Talk dirty to me in emojis. Uh -huh. Do it right now on YouTube at the Piper Blush Radio Show. It is talk dirty to me in emojis but you can only use emojis you cannot use words no 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 that's the fun of it that's the fun of it okay so we got ob sanders who is that's a good one that's a good one okay he uses i'm gonna tell you ob sanders uses a mouth half open with lips and teeth mm -hmm. and then he places a banana next to it so I think he wants the mouth to eat the banana. Maybe the mouth is like, is feeling hungry. Maybe, maybe it needs some potassium. I don't know, there's a lot of potassium in bananas. But then, for some reason, after the mouth has eaten the banana, it becomes wet. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's all the saliva, you know? When you're hungry, like you, you have a lot of saliva coming up. And then, oh my God, then there's like an umbrella. Then it, oof. Well, I don't know why you put the umbrella after it rains. Like you should, don't you, don't you put the umbrella before it rains, Ob? That doesn't make sense. The order doesn't make sense. So there's the actual like, okay, there's the actual mouth, there's the banana, then there's some wetness, and then there's the umbrella and more wetness. I thought like you should put the mouth, the umbrella, the banana, the wetness, and then there's cash. 
<laughs> oh yeah, uh huh. There's lots of cash. So either that means jackpot or that means you paid for it. Mm -hmm. But that depends on you. I mean, it's legal in Amsterdam. Yeah, so whatever floats your boat, uh huh. We've got Moto Miles, who has a long sentence. I mean, this is a good one. I think Moto Miles had described it perfectly. Uh huh. What I was trying to say earlier, like perfectly. Okay, so Moto Miles, there's some waves. So I mean, we're in the ocean and then we're swimming. There's some swimming. So swimming in the ocean and then some kissing happen. Oh yeah. And then we go to a hotel and then more kissing happen. And then, well, I guess we're thirsty, so we drink some wine. And then, well, oh, we fall in love. Oh, that's nice. Also, people, just so you know, uh -huh, Moto Miles has a YouTube channel too. Uh -huh, go check it out. Same as Dwayne Phil, who's also here tonight. Uh -huh. And, well, tomorrow, tomorrow, yes, yeah, something crazy is going to happen tomorrow. Wayne is actually going to do the one chip challenge or like the last last chip challenge he's gonna put one chip in his mouth it's the hottest chip on earth uh-huh and he's gonna do that on love less than a devil because we're gonna talk spicy uh-huh tomorrow on love less than a devil with wayne who eats the amazing crazy chips it's gonna be crazy you better be there bring your friends i mean make it a party an event it's gonna be hump day too which is awesome uh-huh so you do it okay you do it, and Wayne's gonna do it. He's gonna suffer for all of us. He's gonna burn down the taboos of sex for everybody. I mean, his throat and his mouth and his lips are gonna burn so much. I don't even know if he's gonna make it through the whole chip, but he says he's gonna do it. So you need to be there to support him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wayne, we're all gonna be with you tomorrow uh -huh, at 5 p.m. Pacific time on Love Less Than the Devil to see you eat that chip. The worst chip in all humanity. Uh -huh. I mean, Trasher's already super excited. Can't wait to see that Wayne. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have Adam McKinney who sends some love. Mm -hmm. So that's the dirty talk in emoji he's giving me. Love licking kitty. <laughs> I love licking kitties. Not me. This is the they're too furry sometimes. Uh huh. I like the shaved kitties. You know the kitties that have like no fur? Those ones better. Uh huh. Even though I don't like cats at all in general. Mm -hmm. But it's okay, Adam. I respect you for liking, or loving actually, loving licking kitties. Mm -hmm. Just make sure. I mean, they've got out of their litter box before you do that. Okay, that'd be cool. John King actually sends talk dirty to me uh-huh and emojis now i don't think he's talking really dirty yet i think he's kind of you know he's building up he's building up the relationship john maybe he's just like a slower guy okay he wants to take his time mm -hmm. so john is saying um cool guy you know the guy with the glasses yeah it's a cool guy lots of love party and sunshine uh-huh that sounds like a great summer actually john uh-huh i think it's like gonna be a great summer that makes a lot of sense so cool guy with sunglasses lots of hearts lots of parties uh-huh and well you can actually party with me every day because i broadcast live four times a day mm-hmm on youtube at the piper blush radio show make sure you turn your notifications yeah so that you don't miss me when i'm live because all of the shows i do are broadcasted live uh -huh. then of course they stay on youtube for you to watch them later if ever you miss the live but it's always better when it's live so much better than today while i was doing piper's poolside barbecue uh-huh and giving you fun facts about mayonnaise well actually the tent that i'm in right now flew over and fell in the pool uh-huh that's still all on youtube yeah if ever you want to check it out mm -hmm. so cool okay we have OB Sanders, who says, you figured that out like Sherlock Holmes, Piper, lots of cash. <laughs> okay, do you actually pay for sex? Is that what you're saying, though? I'm not sure I'm getting this, OB Sanders. Mm -hmm. It's fine if you pay for, for sex, no problem. I mean, wine and dine, that, is that kind of count as paying for sex? I guess it kind of does, right? Half, half. Hmm. Okay, Settler Billy says, I'll be your sex translator, Piper, with emojis. Awesome. Thank you so much, Settler Billy. Uh huh. Okay, keep on talking dirty to me. We still got time. Mm -hmm. You need to give me your best dirty talking only in emojis. This is an emoji only show. Uh huh. Because, well, sometimes you might be stuck. Uh huh. You might want to express something, and it would be kind of better to express it in emojis. Why? Because you can kind of see in emojis, you can see things. Uh huh. The emojis are so descriptive, okay, that you need to do it. You need to do it. So a silver Billy sends a licking face, a banana, a mouth smiling, and bam. 
<laughs> a champagne bottle exploding. So I guess somebody's banana was really, really mega happy. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Hekem says love ya. Oh, thank you for the love, Hekem. Always a pleasure uh -huh. to have more new people watching Love, Lust and the Devil, where we burn down the taboos of sex. Uh -huh. Now, Carl says best of luck to you tomorrow, Wayne. Yeah, because this is crazy. Wayne is going to put in his mouth one of the hottest chips on earth earth uh -huh. and he's gonna do it live in front of everybody mm -hmm. now this is definitely gonna bring more people for to his karaoke that is for sure but i mean still uh -huh, still make sure you tune in it's gonna be crazy oh yeah and wayne is like doing this crazy thing he deserves to have a lot of people watching it while he does it especially because he's gonna be doing it live uh -huh, at 5 p.m tomorrow mm -hmm, on love less than the devil yeah so you want to be there. You want to be there. Now, there's also, well, Obi Sanders, who says, when in Amsterdam, I pay for a lot of professional services <laughs> with a cash bag. Thank you, Obi Sanders. Thank you very much for sharing. I mean, it's legal in Amsterdam. So if it's not illegal, then it's just, it's about morality. So you do whatever you want. Uh -huh. Morality is your thing, not the laws thing. Uh -huh. So Adam McKinney says, I have not gotten lucky in 15 years. Well, Maybe we can actually get to change that, Adam, and that's probably why you are watching Love, Lust, and the Devil, where we burn down. The taboos around sex. Oh, yeah. Crystal Powers has just joined us. Uh-huh. She's right here right now. Now, we have Sidlor Billy who says, Happy face, filming a movie, lots of uh, star eyes, and more. <laughs> Champagne popping. Now... Obi Sanders, you says, when in Amsterdam, I pay for a lot of professional services. Do you ask for a receipt? Is that deductible? Uh -huh. I mean, if it is, maybe I can just like pay myself a trip to Amsterdam. Uh -huh. Go do some radio shows over there, plus deduct some things. <gasps> Don't listen to me, IRS. Uh -huh. This is not true. It's just like in theory. It's not literary. Mm -hmm. It's hypothetical. Okay. It's cool. It's holding up. It's holding up. We're good, people. We're good. Okay. Now, the last emoji is about the sex film industry. Oh yeah, okay, that's because there's like a happy face and then there's a film, like a camera, meaning you're probably filming something. Or maybe like you're watching a movie. So maybe you're watching a porno. Is that what it is? Uh -huh. That could be it. And then, well, or, or you're in it. I'm not sure you're in it or you're watching it. Mm -hmm. This is what is complicated with emojis. And that's why we are making sure that you are able to use the emojis mm -hmm, to dirty talk as best as possible. Mm -hmm. So talk dirty to me in emojis right now. Put it on YouTube at the Piper Blush Radio Show in the live chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If this video is not live anymore, just put in a comment. Mm -hmm. We'll see how fast YouTube gets to understand that we're talking about sex. Mm -hmm. Though we are just using emojis. Mm -hmm. Obi Sanders says, you can get a receipt. It just says entertainment. <laughs> I like that a lot. Oh, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh -huh. I didn't say nothing. Uh -huh. No, it's fine. Entertainment. Oh, this is cool. Uh -huh. Okay, so Crystal Powers sends cherries. And I think it's like, it's like a cup. Cherries in a cup. Pop cherries. Oh, that means pop cherries. No cherry poppers tonight, Crystal, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Okay, call me now, people. Yeah, tell me about dirty emojis. Uh -huh. What's your dirtiest emojis of them all? Call me right now. 1-888-614-5006. Toll free in Canada and in the United States of America. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Obi Sanders says, ooh. Okay, don't worry. So that's... Perfect. It's a girl I'm like supposed to like actual FaceTime with who was supposed to call during the show, but she can't make it yet. So she's going to FaceTime me maybe at like 6.30. Uh -huh. I'm just going to reply to her. Don't go anywhere, people. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so here we are. I'm sorry, still haven't gotten home yet. So I think I'll be able to call before 6.30. Okay, perfect. Well, I'm live right now. Just call me when you are ready so she was supposed to come and swim uh-huh she was actually supposed to come and swim but uh i guess she can't anymore mm -hmm. well no worries no worries i mean this happens uh-huh but my cherry crystal that's from carl carl you're already not a virgin this this doesn't work you can't actually like crystal you can't pop a cherry of somebody who's not a virgin anymore can you oh we gotta call her awesome <laughs> 
Hell's love line. This is Piper Blush. Who is this? Hey, it's Wayne. How you doing? Hey, Wayne. I'm doing great. How are you feeling about that chip <laughs> challenge? I keep on promoting it with my mouth, like everywhere. No, <laughs> no it's all good. Um, I'm getting, you know, just making sure that um, everybody's good with it at uh, my friend's house than they are. So it's all good. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so we're going to do this tomorrow, or like around 5 p.m., right? My time. You're good with that? Yes. Okay, cool. Now, yep, so it's 7 o'clock. It would be 7, seven, seven o'clock Central time. Standard Time. Perfect. So. Okay. Yeah. There's like, it's like a little bit of like noise in the background. What's that? Are you like, like are you, do you have like a, a TV that's possessed or something? It's like. No, no. The, the. Oh, is it, is it crackling? Or? Yeah, it's crackling. Oh. I, I don't know what it is. Is it doing it right? Is it doing it right now? Because you're coming yeah. in really clear. Oh, that's cool. Well, okay, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all fine. It's all fine. So, Obi Sanders says that you would need cold milk. Do you have cold milk, Wayne, for like tomorrow the <laughs> challenge? I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I, I got some like, like cold milk, and I got, I got creamer. Oh, you got Somebody a creamer. Somebody said get creamer. Like what? Yeah. Is it like coffee milk? Like like um, for coffee cream, you know? Oh, so like ten, like ten percent, like half and half. I, I think it's half and half. It's, it, they got it over at the house. They picked it up for me. And Ooh. then the um, uh, ice cream, I believe uh -huh. they have ice cream. I don't know. I got to find to see if but I got any. That's so amazing. So uh, Jerry and Ken actually like bought you some things so you don't die? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's really nice of them. That's like really nice of them. Okay. Wayne, um, what, what's your favorite emoji? Boy. Uh, you know, I was uh, I was using the cheat sheet. I was looking it up online because I for a second there, and I'm like, well, what is it? And I was like, oh. okay. And then I figured out it. I figured out it was symbols for, uh, you know. Okay. What was the so. What was the bamboo about? <laughs> what was the bamboo about? Yeah, uh, you know, I don't even know what that symbol is. It's like a I bamboo. I was like looking at it. Um, is it? I think it's bamboo. <laughs> looking at it. Uh, what was it supposed to mean? I, like on the I bed? Let's go in the sheets? I, the bamboo sheets? <laughs> okay, wait. Bamboo, I had no clue. Try, try to call me again. We're going to try to get rid of that like static that is in there, okay? So I'm okay, going to hang up, try to call again. Okay, perfect. Let's try this again, people. There's some static on the line. It must be because of the chip challenge. Uh huh. I mean... This is intense stuff going on, intense stuff going on. All right, don't go anywhere, people. Wayne is going to be right back. Hello. Hello. Oh, that's way better. Is that better? Oh, yeah, that's better. Oh, good. Okay, amazing, amazing. Okay, now, Wayne. So so you don't know what the bamboo was for, right? The bamboo No, emoji? I really didn't. I, I didn't even, I didn't even, when I was looking at it, I didn't even think it was, I thought it was some kind of plant or something. I didn't oh. think it was. Well, maybe it was like, let's have sex, sex next to the plants. In the forest, maybe. I mean, some people are kinky like that. <laughs> they like to have sex in the forest. That could have been it. Yeah, the other, yeah, the other one I sent you was something like, I, I would want, you know, a BJ, you know, kind oh. of thing. Yeah. And that's what I was, you know, it was num it was three symbols and it was like something in that nature. Okay. Do you think like the best object or fruit or vegetable to describe the penis, which one do you think it is? Is it the banana, the cucumber or the eggplant? Well, I, I, I've always described it with a cucumber. Okay. So I, you know, a banana, you know, that, they, I'm sorry. You've done it with a cucumber already. So you have you have described your very own male anatomy with a cucumber. Well, that's what. Yeah, that's a symbol that you know that I'm used to. I because you know for describing things because that's what I've seen women get you know at the store and stuff. Oh, <laughs> so you think women they kind of use the cucumber? Of course, they don't use the eggplant. That's a good point. Like no, zucchinis and cucumbers plant. are a bit easier. And I was. And that's another thing would be the banana, but, uh, you know, um, isn't there like Crohn's d disease or something I don't know, but associated I would not... with the banana, you know? Yeah, banana peels is like lots of like pesticides on there and stuff like that. You shouldn't put that in your, like not the peel, like actually put a rubber on it before if you're doing that. Yeah, they mm -hmm. say they, they say before they ship a banana, they radiate it. They put, they put, ra Ooh. they radiate the, the fruit. That makes sense. They do that with a lot of stuff like herbs and spices mm -hmm. to make sure that like there's no like animals in there, you know, 
like spiders. No, right. Because right, bananas have right. a whole bunch of spiders in there. It's really crazy. I, I've seen some videos. Yeah, maybe that's. Yeah, maybe that's why they do it. I don't uh -huh. know. Okay, so you have like your your one chip challenge, like on the box. Does what does it say on the box, Wayne? Like, is there like a warning? Do you need to like go on a website, oh, put your man. name, and then sign a waiver or something? <laughs> um, let's see. Eat at your own risk. Um, not for the weak-hearted. Um, not everyone will enjoy the ex <laughs> or ex you know extreme heat. Okay. No, um, so do not eat if you're you're sensitive or to foods or allergies oh. or any. I don't have any allergies oh, or anything good. like that. Okay, that's perfect. And then um, your heart is fine. And well, you are sensitive to spices, but I mean that doesn't matter at that level. I mean, everybody's I mean, everybody sensitive everybody to spices, is, isn't they? Exactly. So there's, yeah, there's unless no, you don't no have worries. any taste buds. Or, Exactly. No. Or does this people? Oh, keep out of reach. Keep out of reach of children. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense because they would probably like not be happy about it. But there are these people that are actually like actually um, like they can't they can't feel hot like heatness of like spices. You know. They're I've like, heard of that. Yeah, I have a friend like that. He can't. Like he can't. He can eat like ghost pepper chips or whatever, and he's just like, yeah, it's a bit kind of like hot, but not that much. So, so you have this little this little chip, and it's in what box is it? You said it has a special shape. The box, and you tell everybody so everybody tunes in tomorrow. It's a it's a coffin shaped box. I I got I got the video I sent you. Yeah, exactly. And it's it's yeah. in in the front of it. It's it's a skull, a red skull with oh. the last chip challenge on one on one side, and you can see the skull on the other side. Oh yeah, that's intense. And you haven't opened it yet, right? I have not even opened it yeah, yet. Yeah, don't do that no. in case, like, I mean, the, the hotness just, like, goes everywhere, and then you're stuck with it until tomorrow. Well, if you open up, yeah, they, first you open up the main box, and then it's then it's sealed in its own little package, Ooh. which you have to rip apart. Okay. So, I mean, I'll I'll demonstrate everything when I'm yeah, opening yeah, it up. It's going to be like the everything. unboxing of death. <laughs> That's so cool. I was going to do... I was going to do another, um, I was going to do a karaoke thing tonight, and I was going to do another, um, another kind of like a short video oh, that yeah, I'll send to that. everybody. Do it's that. a little shorter. Okay. Um, you know, I had Lilith, I had Lilith in there before, so uh -huh. I'll no do problem. something, I'll do something short. Yeah, I'll do something shorter, and then I'll okay. send it to um, all the media yeah, plus put my it, own. Yeah, put it on um, the Discord YouTube server channel. now that you're back there as well. So for everybody yeah, on could, the Discord it, server. Yeah, man, that was just. Oh my God! Getting back on the Discord, it was just a pain. <laughs> well, at least you're back now. It's all good. Uh -huh. We got you now, I, Wayne. I, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. You're there. Okay, so you're gonna put it on there. And now, okay, tell me. So, what is the spiciest food you've eaten so far, so that people know like what's your spice <laughs> level versus what you're gonna do tomorrow, yeah. which is kind of really intense. I had hella. I had hella. Yeah, I had jalapenos or whatever. So jalapenos is like the the hottest you've eaten. And tomorrow yes. you will eat the hottest chip on earth. Like hottest. I believe it is, yeah. So you have never I, eaten I like no no ghost pepper, no California Reaper, like no none no. of these peppers. Like none. No, none. Oh none. my god. But that's perfect, because that means like you don't even know what hot is yet and you're just gonna experience like the full blown hotness of Lucifer. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna wear some gloves, like to eat the chip? Are you gonna have like some some mechanical yeah. gloves um, or something? Yeah, I'm gonna wear I'm, I'm gonna wear some gloves. I'm gonna take some anti acids, you know, Definitely. for my stomach. Definitely take some anti acids um, before, before I start. Yeah. <clears throat> and then yeah, and then um, and then I'm gonna have all this stuff ready. I'm gonna try to go as long as I can without drinking or eating anything. Okay, so you're just gonna try to eat the whole chip. So everybody who's listening and... to this, uh -huh, there's a chance that Wayne is gonna die tomorrow. So you actually need to tune oh. in. Uh huh. Well, you're, they're gonna revive you, don't worry. It happens a lot. They'll be there. <laughs> so you need to share this with your friends, with your family, with your coworkers, everybody. This guy is gonna eat like the hottest chip on earth in live, in live. You can, you can actually like participate to this. Nobody. Uh, yeah, I did. I did some. I did some research online, and I I couldn't find anybody that ate this chip online. Oh yeah, seriously. The last chip challenge. Yeah, Nobody I haven't ate found anybody that. You're gonna be the first guy right, to do not it. Not this. Not this specific chip. 
they, they ate the la- uh, the first chip challenge or whatever yeah, it is, yeah. but, but not, not the last chip. Not the last chip challenge. Okay, well, it's all going to be recorded and it's all going to be put on YouTube. So then maybe you can, sub- and well, you got Jerry and Ken that are going to be there. Maybe you can submit it to like the Guinness World Record then later. Or like submit it to somebody <laughs> or something because you're going to be the first well, person to do it live on the internet if you haven't found anything. Yeah, I got, yeah, I got 10, I got 10, it says 10 minutes. Um, you know, to not be to not be a pussy. So, <laughs> what? Ten minutes? You I will. Need, I you, will. You need to like eat it. In t- that, does that say that on the box? What do you mean, I, ten minutes? Kind of. Yeah, it does. It, 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 ten minutes, and then if I can't, you know, if I go earlier than ten minutes, it's not really a big deal. It just. But I I don't know how long I can you know stand the pain. But oh. we'll just see. We'll see. Wow. And from the videos you've seen so far, like people just kind of like they cry a little bit and, and that's pretty much it. Right. Cough. No, they've I've had there was people that actually threw up. Oh, OK. Uh, uh, passed out. Passed out. It's pretty intense. Um, yeah. Yeah. And things in that nature. And then Adam says you're going to fart fire. <laughs> that's what my that's what my friend Ken said. He said it's really? gonna it's gonna hurt down there. Yeah, it's gonna hurt down there for a few days. Well, as long as you've eaten a few antacids and maybe some Pepto, like it's gonna smoothen the ride down. That's for sure. Uh huh. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy. So you're gonna do this. You're like you're motivated. You're ready for it. Use it as exposure for your karaoke. Okay. Like. Yeah, it'll be on it'll it'll be on my YouTube site and all that stuff. Perfect. So, so broadcast it live on your YouTube, on your Facebook, like everywhere. Because it's gonna be yeah. big. Yeah. This is gonna be like super yeah. big. I got it on Yeah, I got it on Twitter and um oh. and uh and Discord of course. I'm and Discord. Put that yeah, because you got your own Discord server too. Okay, people, you need to subscribe and share this right now. Uh huh. Go subscribe to Dwayne Phil on YouTube, yeah. Subscribe to Well Love Lust and the Devil as well, yeah, at the Piper Blush Radio Show. Make sure you subscribe to everything everywhere. Go to Discord server mm-hmm, that you can find on WTPRradio.com. Then click Discord server. And then while you're there, well actually go check out Wayne's server. Mm-hmm, because it's gonna be there as well. So it's gonna be everywhere. Oh my god, this is crazy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Brent, <laughs> Brent Buck says you will feel it. Uh-huh. He says, I did the one chip challenge in 2021. See this? Oh. Okay. And he said it lasted two hours. So that's not too bad, Wayne. Two hours, not too bad. Yeah. yeah. Two, two hours of burning, you mean? I think, I think that's what he is says. That what you will oh, feel okay, it. Okay. I did the one chip challenge in 2021, lasted two hours. But uh, two hours is not like the whole night, though. It's just two hours. Like, no, it's just a couple hours. It's exactly. Not two hours is not too bad. I mean, you can watch a movie. Like, watch The Lord of the Rings. It's three hours. <laughs> so after that, you're going to be you're gonna be okay. Guardian of the Galaxy, you know, something well, like, that's like two yeah, hours and but, a half. Right. Like I said, again, I don't think I don't think anybody's done the last chip challenge that's, on on anything. So I'll be the first one to do that. That's why it's so crazy. Uh-huh. Sitor Billy says, yeah. Wayne, do you work on automobiles? Yes. You do. So you got the gloves. You got like some lube if ever something bad happens. <clears throat> I, got, just... I got the rubber gloves. I'm going to have to do that. And plus, I have to keep it out of my lips like we talked about before. Yeah. So you're going to need to like bite it with your teeth. How big is the coffin in which the chip is? You think you're going to be able to fit the chip like in, in one bite? Or you think you're going to need to kind of... I was thinking, I was thinking about I was thinking about just kind of breaking it. Okay. You know what I mean? A little Ooh. bit. And then making like a little uh, stack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm not, you know, so I, don't, I can just shove it all in, uh-huh. kind of thing. Yeah, and so it doesn't touch your lips, but then you're also like taking yeah. it all in all at the same time. I think if you do that, it's gonna be way better because, like, my experiences with like Thailandese food and really hot food is that if you just need to eat it all at the same time, because if you start chewing and then opening your mouth again and eating another bite, then it becomes like worse and worse and worse and worse. At least if you all have it in your mouth at the same time, like it gets worse, but then it plateaus at the like there's a plateau. It can't be worse because right. you stop eating it. You didn't put more in your mouth. I mean, it's done. But I don't know. That's how I used to no, do it. Right. I used to like eat super fast, right. and when it burned too fo- too much, I stopped eating. Yeah. <laughs> and then I cried a little bit and sneezed and all like coughed and all these things that you do when you eat way too hot mm-hmm. for your body structure. This is gonna be crazy, and this is all gonna happen tomorrow. Ooh. Okay, what do you think you need to do to prepare? Do you think it's more like mental, physical? Well, how how's gonna tomorrow go? Are you gonna le- like eat 
normally eat like more lightly what's your what's your diet gonna be like um tomorrow um yeah. prob probably probably uh, just have some breakfast i don't know if i'll have i'll have dinner um i don't know if i'll have dinner mm. at all i don't i don't know okay okay i so, just want to be you know yeah focus uh-huh Okay. Yeah. So probably no dinner. You're going to have some anti-acid, like anti-reflux and all these things. So the, on an empty yeah. stomach, I guess that's going to coat really well your stomach, like really well. So you should. Like, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm guessing. I'm hoping. Yeah. So you don't, you're not going to have a doctor or a nurse there, right? <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. Okay, perfect. But you got two friends with you. So if ever something happens, like it's all good. They're going to take care of you. They already bought you like some ice, like some some cold milk and some cream, like a creamer for you to drink. Yeah. If it gets out of yeah. hand. Plus, well, they're, they're your friends, like childhood friends. So they're going to definitely support you in any pain you got. And I mean, Jerry has been pregnant, so she has like gone through labor. So she can probably put that back in your face if you're like too much of a wuss for some reason. <laughs> so Jerry, think about that. Uh -huh. Think about that tomorrow for when Wayne is crying. Just tell him you actually gave birth to children, <laughs> like a child. I think I think that's going to be good, Wayne. That's going to help you stay focused, and motivated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, and plus Lisa had your children, so you saw her suffer in pain and agony. Yeah. So yeah, just there. think about all of that. It's going to be fine. If you think about that, I'm sure you're going to be great. Probably no erections for like a week after that, but still great. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just want to survive this. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Treasure says, might have the paramedic on standby. Don't worry, Treasure. It's just a phone call away. It's gonna be cool, and it's still <laughs> gonna be live. You're gonna do it live, and it's there's no other people on the internet that has done this one live. Not that Wayne has found. I don't yet. think so. I haven't seen. I haven't seen any. No. So, you're the, like the craziest man on earth. That means. <laughs> Well, crazy. hopefully it's hopefully it's uh, hopefully it turns out okay. It, it's, there's no way it cannot turn out okay. Like there's no way. <laughs> like it's gonna be. It's just like opening the box is gonna be crazy enough. Then if you eat a little bit and it ends, it's still more than most humans have ever done, Wayne. You're gonna still have put like the last last chip challenge in your mouth. Like nobody has done that. You can't even find it on the internet. Imagine how many people have not done it. We're eight billion people. So I guess like yeah. you should definitely get yourself a T-shirt after that or something like that. Like I don't know, pay yourself something. It, it will just be pain anyways. It's just mental. You just need to focus. Think about Rocky, you know. Think about like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Think about all these men. Think yeah. about Aaron Man. Yeah, like something like that. It's just gonna be pain. And then it's gonna be over in about two hours. That's what Brent Rock says. Brent Bach, who has done it. I mean, he's I done... hope I hope it's over pretty quick. Yeah. Maybe it's gonna be lesser. Like, you don't know because you haven't tested it. But you'll yeah, know tomorrow. I've already done it before. So, and yeah. you need to tell us what you're feeling and you need to tell us, like, what it's like so that more people, like, maybe they can try it if they want to. Yeah? Right. I mean, you can, when I'm, when I'm on there, you can ask me the questions because I'll probably okay. be so focused on the pain. Yeah. That I won't be able to to think about it. No so problem. if you ask me the questions, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. Okay. I'll be your Mickey. Just like in Rocky. <laughs> I'll be next to you in the ring. And then while well, Jerry and uh, Ken, you're probably going to be like pushing water in your face, uh huh, giving you the little towel and all that. It's going to be fine. And I'll just, I'm going to motivate you. <laughs> we'll motivate you. And I'm going to give you like all of the people. They're probably going to be cheering for you all the way in the live chat comment. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. And I'm going to tell you <laughs> jokes. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. I cannot show you atomical oh, parts, though. That would help, too, with pain. Just so you know, like if it hurts too much, just put on some sexy videos. Uh -huh. It says that it diminishes pain. Mm -hmm. so, oh, I in didn't case. know that. Yeah, yeah. So well, I can't do that like on YouTube. But still, I can definitely like make you think about it. We're, we're going to try a whole bunch of different things. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, there's even like Cesar who sent 199. He says, Good luck, Wayne. This is amazing. <laughs> oh my god, this is cool. You're getting so much love and attention, Wayne, right now. Woo. Okay, Obi Sanders says she actually did the chip challenge on a live stream, but she cut it after five minutes. Okay, so there's AOC who did the chip challenge, but that's that's the one chip challenge. That's not like the one that Wayne is doing. The one but she yeah, the last chip after challenge. After five minutes, so she was she was like not able to do it for five minutes. But then we have Brent Bach who actually did it, like the whole thing, and was fine with it. So we will see tomorrow, right, Wayne? Yeah, we'll see. No awesome. big deal. I'll give it a shot. Okay. Hopefully, um, 
hopefully I can last for, uh, you know what I mean, longer yeah. than uh, well, 10 like, minutes. Just like in sex, Wayne. You want to last long. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Wayne. So we'll see you tomorrow, okay? Have a good night's sleep. Get your focus on, uh-huh. People, you need to subscribe right now to Dwayne Phil on YouTube, yes, and at the Piper Blush Radio Show because tomorrow, Wednesday, at 5 p.m. Pacific time, is going to be Love Less Than a Devil, special Wayne edition, who's going to heat the last, last chip challenge live in front of us. It has never been done before. Mm-hmm. Will he be able to battle with the pain? Oh, yeah. Share this right now, <laughs> uh-huh, to make sure that all of your friends, family, co-workers, everybody has a wing party tomorrow. Oh, my God. I can't wait to see this, Wayne. It's going to be extraordinary. It's going to be like in history. You're probably making history right now. It's going to be crazy. Okay. I'll let you go now, Wayne. Go get some sleep. Go get your focus on your glass of milk. And we'll see you tomorrow, all right? Sounds good. Okay, champion. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. So Wayne is pumped and ready for it, people. So we will all see you tomorrow, Wednesday, mm-hmm, the 7th of June, for Love, Lust, and the Devil. Hot. Very, very hot. Where Wayne will eat the last slash chip challenge live. I got some ghost pepper chips. You guys need to actually bring some hot stuff with you. Now your girlfriend, that doesn't count as hot stuff. I mean, spicy stuff, like stuff that's actually literally hot. Share this video with everybody right now so that everybody knows that tomorrow, Wednesday, 7th of June, it's gonna be hot in here, uh-huh. I mean, some guy named Wayne is gonna try the last, last chip challenge in front of you, your eyes only, mm-hmm. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be mecha, mecha, chica crazy. Share this video with everybody you know because, well, it's gonna be live, so you wanna to assist to this live. Will he hold five minutes? Will he hold 10 minutes? Will he hold 15 minutes? Mm -hmm. How long will Wayne hold the chip in his mouth, in his tummy, and everybody else? Ooh, it's gonna be crazy. All right. I will see you on WTPRRadio.com. Make sure you turn on your notifications to YouTube at the Piper Blush Radio Show because you don't want to miss what is coming on tomorrow, Wednesday, 7th of June with Wayne mm -hmm, and his hottest chip on earth challenge that he will put in his mouth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Turn on your notifications, all of them. I will see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I got a spider on me. It's not on me anymore. It's all cool. Uh-huh.